Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Bob German and I'm pleased to introduce Snigda Verma, who is a principal product manager working on a new application management feature for Microsoft 365 Admin Center. This is going to allow managing both Outlook add-ins and extended Teams apps. Hi Snigda, thanks for joining. Hi Bob, thanks for inviting me in. So I know that today Microsoft 365 administrators manage Teams apps in the Teams Admin Center. They manage Outlook add-ins in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. As Microsoft works to unify the app and add-in models, how will this affect the management of these apps? As you rightfully said, today IT admins must navigate to different admin center to manage apps on their M365 suite. Teams Admin Center for Teams app, Microsoft Admin Center or EAC for WXPO add-ins. As we ask our developers to enhance their Teams app so that it can work across Outlook and Microsoft 365 apps too, what we've done is we've provided an admins a unified experience in integrated apps in Microsoft Admin Center from where the admins can manage these enhanced Teams app across Outlook, Microsoft 365 and Teams from a single surface. So we're definitely trying to remove the fragmentation and bringing in a unified experience in a single admin center. Very cool. I mean, you mentioned the term unified experience. Can you explain? Sure. Let me show you the experience. Today, if integrated apps is the experience, which you can go to from the left nav of Microsoft Admin Center under the settings tab. Now, in integrated apps, what we have today is that the admins can manage WXPO add-ins. To this experience, we are bringing in the management of Enhanced Teams app too. An admin can now manage an app which works across Outlook, Teams, Microsoft 365 with the same management construct that they've been doing to manage WXPO add-ins. So we are bringing in unification, not just from a surface point of view, but also from a gesture point of view. That sounds great. So when you say managing applications, what exactly can IT admins do? Sure. Let me give you a tour of the experience we have built. One of the most powerful gestures that we have given to the admin is pre-installing the app for their set of users. I'll take on a persona of an admin for a Contoso environment, and I want to deploy Mural app for my organization. So I go into integrated apps. Under the deployed apps, I click on get apps. And what it does is it shows me all the apps that I can potentially deploy. I search for Mural. And Mural is an enhanced Teams app which works across Outlook Teams and Microsoft 365. As an admin, I decide I do want to deploy this for my certain users in my organization. It takes me back into integrated apps experience where it tells me that this app indeed does work across these three different products. I can then select whether I want to deploy it just for specific users, entire organization, or just test it for myself. For now, I'll decide I want to do it for my entire organization. Over here, I'm able to even look at the set of permissions that this app needs across these three different products. So I click on accept permission. It gives me the list of permissions that this app needs across these three Microsoft products. I accept it. And now I'm at the end of the journey for deploying the app. So I just do one last review. And once I finish deployment, what happens is now the app is available for my set of users from their flyouts, from their clients in Outlook, in Teams, and Microsoft 365 app. And it also starts showcasing up over here. The other gesture which we recognize that some admins would want to have is deciding whether an app is available for installation to their users. Under this available app list, the admins can see what is the current status of availability. In this case, the first one, here all users in the organization can install. What we are going to provide to our admins is a way by which they can control whether a certain set of users can install or no users can install. We've also recognized that there are times when a certain app needs to be totally blocked in an organization. For example, when an app has security issue or there is some competitive need that this app should not be allowed in the organization, by the users or by the admin. Today, we have provided that feature or that gesture by which an admin on clicking on block app is able to decide 
that this app should be in totality banned in one way from the organization and can block it if the situation changes then the admin can go ahead and unblock this app again and and bring it back to the previous state so these are the important gestures that we have provided to our admins and this is what we mean by app management by default we want our users to discover install and use the app so that they are very productive but we recognize in high governance organization we need to be cautious so we are providing admins a way to change the state of the app so that the apps are not by default available for users to install and if any new app is also released to the store they follow the same posture well it's really cool thanks for showing me um so there's a lot of changes here is this going to happen all at once i understand that add in developers will be making changes to their manifest in order to participate in this unified app store so but that's not going to happen all on the same day how are administrators going to be able to work with various apps as they go through this migration. Yes, indeed it is a journey. So for add-ins we are doing two efforts here. We are encouraging the ISVs to upgrade their add-ins to Teams app by moving to Teams manifest. Once this happens, then the management is stored in totality from Microsoft Admin Center as I just showed you and no longer any management needs to be done from Exchange Admin Center. for the add-ins where the isps are yet to upgrade to the teams app we are investigating on how to simplify the add-in management into one place inside microsoft admin center no longer requiring exchange admin center for add-in management task so indeed it is going to take a while and it is a journey that we are on well that's that's very exciting uh what's the next step in the journey then uh as you just saw that you know from integrated apps we are able to do deployment block on block for which affects the outlook and microsoft 365 app today we are not bringing in yet the teams client managing the enhanced teams app for teams client is in teams admin center by the end of this calendar year we are hoping that we can bring in teams client also into this fold regarding gestures uh, we showed you the deployment gesture the block and unblock gesture what we want to bring in is a way by which admins can decide which users can install and use the app the other gesture that we are trying to we are planning to bring in is we recognize in high governance uh, enterprises the apps should be by default not allowed by the users to install so that is another gesture we are planning to bring in where admins can by default decide what the state of the app is when the app is published into the store So this is this is a huge new set of features that will come in slowly through this calendar year. It's great. I really look forward to that and I think this has been very informative. Thank you so much for sharing with uh with me and with the uh, YouTube audience everything that's coming up. Thank you Bob. Once again, thank you for having me.